What's going on, boxing fans? Joan Williams with this type of mailbag question for you today from Laugh Out Loud Film Studios. He sent me a message. Um, I wasn't even sure if it was supposed to be a mailbag, but it was something I wanted to um, address on video. You know, on top of that, I'd probably be typing all day. You know, if I um, if I did this video, I mean, if I didn't do the video, I'd probably be typing all day because I do have you know very wide opinion on this topic. Um, this one is about Tomas Sadamek. Um, what do I think about his career and his future? Um, Tomas Sadamek, um, you know, as we all know, um, defeated Jason Estrada last Saturday. Had a post fight video for it. Um, I had eleven rounds to, to one. A lot of people saw it much closer. You know, um, but really, but really, you know, I just had Adamek stealing rounds. I had him stealing rounds and um, you know, eventually getting the, the and pretty much getting the decision on my card. You know, just because he landed more effective shots, his shots were more meaningful, and he, and I believe he threw on more because you know he was throwing three shots to Estrada's one shot, you know, or and he he maybe maybe he would have like one land, but you know he was still you know throwing more shots, and the one shot that would land, you know, out of some of the um, combinations he threw, was more effective than you know Jason Estrada's jab, you know, um, really um. I think I actually think that um, Animex left or right hook, you know, was more effective than Jason Estrada's small jab. You know, that's just my opinion. But anyway, Tomas Animex, you know, um, really, I think there's, that uh, in a way there's some room for improvement. But um, because you know, a lot of people saw the fight as the fight um, to be um, extremely weak. And do I find the fight? Did I find the fight to be um, weak? Um, not really, because we saw Tomas Adamek, we saw him fight against the fighter who kept adjusting his style. And that's what Jason Estrada was doing, he kept adjusting his style. And he didn't fight the same fight. You know, Adamek typically fights fighters who comes in and fights with the same style and doesn't have a plan A or a plan B or a plan C. But Jason Estrada had, you know, plans A through E. You know, he had all kinds of plans and he was trying to adjust and he tried to adapt. And Adamek, you know, still won the fight. So was the fight weak? By um, any means, no. I wouldn't call the fight weak. Especially if you have a fighter in front of you who, who is changing his style to um, try to defeat you. And, and, Estr and that's what Estrada did. You know, Estrada, you know, tried to turn the counter puncher, he went defensive, he stalked him, you know, he used all kinds of different styles, you know, to um to try and defeat Tomas Adamek, but he couldn't do it. You know, so um does that make Tomas Adamek weak? Does it make the fight weak? Not at all. You know, um it's just, you know, a lot of people were expecting a big knockout from Tomas Adamek and, you know, he didn't get the knockout because, you know, Jason Stroud does have a pretty good chin and he has, pretty, and he has good heart. And, um, you know, overall it was a very good fight. Future in the heavyweight division, who knows? Um, would I give him, who would I give a chance in the Ariel Adamek fight? Really, I don't know. Pre preliminary thought, I, I, I want to go with Ariola as a preliminary thought, but... Ariel does have a tendency to throw wide, and Adamek, all he needs to do is on the inside shorten up his punches. You know, that's all he has to do is shorten up his um, shorten up his hooks, and he can act, and he can get the knockout made. You know, really, um, that's just my thought. Um, in the heavyweight division, you know, Tomas Adamek could be a real force in the division. You know, we saw a lot of improvements and adjustments to his to his fight style. We've seen a lot of it um, lately, um, so I do think that. Um, do I think Tomas Sadmet could be a champion in the heavyweight division? Maybe. That's just a maybe. Um, if he, honestly, um, against a David Hay, you know, that's a big maybe. He could possibly defeat David Hay, one of the Klitschko brothers. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as to say he beat one of the Klitschko brothers, David Hay. I give him a good I, I give him a good chance. You know, it's just a preliminary thought. I think he could defeat David Hay. But um you know, especially if he fought a fighter who who was not who was by no means one dimensional and Estrada was not one dimensional. You know, he came in with different styles. So you gotta take that in consideration that 
and make file of fire who um who tried to who tried to adapt and tried to adjust to his style, but he just couldn't get off. You know, um, he couldn't hurt at him or anything. And you know, his change in styles just um, wasn't too effective, um, to be quite honest. Because Adam just continued stealing rounds. Because if you notice in the fight, there's there's some of those rounds, Adam you know would hit hit a straw with the right hand that would um that was just flush on the chin and. And um, they'll make it, they'll make um Estrada just go back, and Estrada really didn't have any way to um, answer back. You know, he was gonna knock out Adam, who had a pretty good chin. So, um, but really, you know, um, can Adam be a future Talos at heavyweight? Yeah, you know, he has a lot of potential because he's improving. You know, he was actually um, slipping shots, and I guess it's something that he's not used to doing because you know he, even though he was slipping shots. You know, um, and coming on under, underneath shots, you know, he he wasn't throwing anything behind it. You know, he was just you know kind of slipping shots just to slip. Them. But you know, really, if he could slip shots and, and come underneath and um, hit him, hit him with a well timed counter, you know, he could be putting guys down for the count. Or he could um, you know, or he can um, get more points in fights doing that. But Tomas Adamek, I do think he has a pretty good career ahead of him. I do think that he could be a future um, title or even champion in the heavyweight division. You know he does, he does um attract a huge following in the United States, and he has a huge following um following in Poland, and um and really, really I just think that um you know the huge following in Poland, and huge following in, in the United States and New Jersey, I think that it's very good for the heavyweight division. I think it brings more money and attracts more fans to the heavyweight division, especially if you have a fighter who could who could generate money out here. And generate, you know, a big following because you know the last heavyweight who attracted a big following, you know, primarily in the United States was Lennox Lewis, and um, we haven't really had that ever since. You know, the Klitschko's, you know, they could. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if they could sell in the United States. I know that Villy can can probably attract um, fans in the United States. I'm not sure about Vladimir. I, I'm pretty sure Vladimir can as well, but. Um, but Tomas Zemek already has a big following out here in the United States, and this is and that's very good for the heavyweight division because we do need fighters in the heavyweight division that attract the fall. But anyway, that was my own thoughts on that. But um, thanks for watching. That was the distance. Peace.